Welcome to your intuitive energy update for the week of January 27th, 2020. All about soulmates. Let's get to it. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Christine, I'm with 24 Karat Healing, and I am your spiritual medium, intuitive energy coach, and old soul healer. And I thought I'd change up the location a little bit, moving from my office slash, you know, reading slash healing space <laughs> to the living room yes um where lots of living happens apparently uh just trying a wired in connection only because uh when i do my shows live through Streamyard and even recording and then they go to all you know all my social media outlets um i've been noticing that uh if it's wired in like a wired in connection versus wi-fi much better. I don't have um, lags in, in, in the recording. It doesn't freeze up. Um, you know, it's cohesive, I guess. Is what. <laughs> so I thought, okay, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this out and see what happens. And so far, wonderful. And if spirit comes in and tells me otherwise, you know, being an empath and all that good stuff, we like to mess up electronics. Let me know, fellow empaths. We do. We have trouble with technology, uh, electronics. We're either draining them or making them freeze or, you know, just having lagging issues. Um, yeah, it's just funny. Are things just how or we break it completely? Um, I've heard stories of, of that as well. So let me know if any of that resonates. Um, just wanted to let you know as well. This was recorded earlier, so please ask a question or comment if these messages resonate. And uh, please subscribe below, follow me, like my page, whatever um, platform you're coming from, please uh, share this out uh, to your friends, to family, to anyone you feel that could, um, I guess, benefit from this collective message. And what do I mean by collective? I mean, our guides, our angels, our loved ones, I call on everyone, including whoever shows up. That's what these messages are for. And um, I do the intuitive writing or channeling. Um, I have my trusty notebook, my writer. So I, I tune in to the energy. Of course, I do prayers and protection and meditation to get there. But I also notice what's happening in the week. Um, so we're just gonna dive right into this, okay guys? <laughs> and if you're new, welcome. Let me know where you're from, if this is your first time. Um, and also I'll let you know that I, you know, I have, um, obviously I do readings in person or distance as well through video, which a lot of uh, clients love and they are recorded. If you like, some folks don't want the recordings, they rather bring their notebook pad and write everything down that works just as well so here we go um well january 27 2020 you're looking at the energy of four so fours are all about your intuition um you know just being spiritually guided um a lot of listening this week um, but it's all about that soul mate that's the key word soul mate and what does love mean to you? That That's what we're asking. Um, is it, you know, platonic? Is it romantic? Is it twin flame and soulmate? I mean, you hear that words, those words getting thrown around all the time. I used to say it, oh, I'm looking for my soulmate. Like, you know, they're asking, um, is somebody else going to complete you? I mean, Jerry Maguire, love the movie. You know, there was that line, you complete me. Um, Yes, I guess in some aspects, but at the end of the day, if you don't love yourself, you are never going to find someone to fill that that hole, that void, that missing puzzle piece. Um, it comes from a lot of work on self, a lot of healing. Um, that includes trauma, um, if you have mental health issues, any addictions. I mean, I just 
talked about myself. I quit smoking two years ago yesterday. Um, I, I knew I wanted, I didn't want to smoke anymore. I had been smoking for like off and on for 25 years. And uh, I knew that was something I was using as a crutch to, you know, just make myself feel better, but actually it did the opposite. I'd be coughing, I'd smell bad. I, I, you know, I, the money as well. And then the health, like the breathing, you know, just being able to breathe and then tasting the foods as well is pretty spectacular. But what I was saying is, um, don't be hard on yourself. Um, failure does not mean you're a failure. It means you tried. So keep trying, keep trying, dust yourself off and, and, you know, come from at a different angle. If you need help and support, like I said, I put it out there, feel free to reach out to me or reach out to someone you trust or, you know, find a mentor, find someone who's walked the walk and talked the talk. Um, if anything, do it for yourself and nobody else, not for New Year's resolutions. It's all about intention. And actually January is, is the time you think about what you'd like for the rest of the year. And then we had the new moon on Friday. And I don't know about you, but it was spectacular. I felt so light. I felt like I had leveled up, um, just full of hope and faith and wisdom and love and light and all of that. Like 2019 was all about all the shit that happened. You know, the tough stuff, a lot of healing, a lot of, a lot of the, yeah, a lot of digging, digging for the pieces that are already here pieces that are already here and 24 karat healing is about gold and gold is the purest form of you know your metals your precious metals and I see gold filling the cracks of any type of trauma or any part that you don't feel whole just imagine that uh, you know when you're doing a meditation just just imagine that filling the cracks and and it's held together in a beautiful space that's that's how I see it um so have your truest romance with yourself be your soul mate yeah I am is all-encompassing do you have a relationship with yourself that's what they're asking that's what I'm asking is it hard is it mean is it abusive come on be honest we can be our own worst critics. And as a former perfectionist, that would be me. And I still catch myself. We are spiritual beings having a human experience, but we are still humans at the end of the day, right? Right, okay? So is your relationship loving and kind and free and unconditional, forgiving and pure? Does it have conditions and rules and ego? Does it have narcissistic tendencies? Yes, we can actually absorb if we're surrounded by narcissists, and that includes family as well, friends, bosses, coworkers, um, people that you run into the store randomly. If you're not watching and being mindful and have that energy piece, that mind, body, spirit healed, it will seep into your own energy. So be very aware of that. Because all of a sudden you're like, why am I acting like a narcissist? <laughs> well, it kind of absorbed you a little bit there. Um, yeah, so it's it can be tough. It can be tough. Um, it, and is it all or nothing? Like there's no black and white. Um, there's just, just you know, ha have no conditions. Just be unconditional. All right. So we're going to move on to the Oracle cards. And my favorite deck is the Energy Oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. So we're going to have look and we're clearing because, you know, when I when I start talking and channeling, I get like it. Woo. I get a little worked up here. I get pretty passionate, you know. Um, and Colette Baron reed I don't know if you're familiar with her, but uh, she has a little oracle card prayer. And actually, this would be good for anything where you need to just come back to center, come back to being present. So before you touch anything, 
I say, God, make me a channel for thy peace. Grant me this conversation for the greatest good of all and the highest. Relieve me of the bondage of self so I may better do thy will. Thy will be done through me. Show me how to serve. Let there only be light. Amen. So with that, here come the cards. Let's see what's happening this week. Oh, <laughs> okay. This card is, I pulled it in reverse. So that is, you know, it, it means, you know, it's pay attention. So two and three, we've got a five energy going on here. 23, twos and threes. This may be a four week, but this is what's happening here. Um, mm, yeah, it's, do you see how she's kind of tied up and, there's a lot of a lot of colors, gold, rainbow. I'm I'm seeing like a prism of light here. Ah, the ties that bind are about to break loose, and a previously stuck situation is opening up. Okay, restrictions are clearing out, and I mean this is great new moon energy as well. The, it also indicates you're ready to break free from the habits and patterns that have tied you up for so long. Get ready to free yourself. You have the power and clarity at this point so these are binds and pat patterns that have you know been stopping you from being authentic and empowered because you are now it's a time to liberate yourself break free break free your affirmation is you release stuck energy old habits and restrictions your life is opening up i am free to choose my reality all right so the tied up card and now we're going to go to the self-care deck now self-love was last week and the angel of balance was last week's cards so let's see what this week's cards are all about oh there we go who wisdom wisdom that is a beautiful card and she's yeah let go of the need to control trust the wisdom of the divine plan and that's your intuitive self that's the collective energy of your guides angels and loved ones what else yeah do you see how she's breaking free and i don't know if that's like a cog or some type of timepiece. and yes those are her breasts okay <laughs> um hopefully i don't get flagged for this but this is the card i mean um, your body should not be something that we're ashamed of. It is not, you know, this is who you are. We are, yeah, this is like a sacral chakra thing because sacral chakra is tied to your sexual energy. And that does not mean sex. That means who you are creatively. We're talking about inner child. We're talking about breaking free out of the mold and being your authentic self and let go of the ego, let go of control. Okay, so the ties that bind are breaking up patterns and habits and then you've got the divine wisdom coming in gosh gorgeous gorgeous i love it it's like being comfortable in your own body that's how i see it in your own body your mind body and spirit and then things are just going to loosen up break free break away you're going to feel lighter and brighter Ooh, i love this <laughs> i love doing this every week every week i'm like oh i don't know I don't know if I should do this. I get the ego in there. I don't know. Does anybody listen? Does anybody watch? Does anybody care? And you know what? I care. And that's why I do it. It actually, it's for myself as well. These messages are not just for you. It's for whoever shows up and I'm showing up. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, just to let you know as well, there's a mentorship uh, happening February 21st. Uh, it's going to be a small group of six. And then um, I, I'm going to be sending out uh, emails to everyone that uh, commented mentorship, but you can still get on the waiting list. And what does that look like? Well, it's about tapping into your inner child, finding out who you are. What's your soulful self? What, what exactly do you want? Unleashing your gifts as a light worker, because we all are finding out where your blocks are. And then there's going to be a little fun at the end. So basically uh, once a week for an hour, for four weeks, you are going to find out, holy shit, I am amazing. 
I know exactly what I want to do. And, you know, I'm here to help you, I'm here to guide you through this. Um, because I started my journey two years ago, and now I'm here helping others. And honestly, it's the greatest gift I have given myself ever, ever. Forget the material stuff. Nah, not even close. All right, guys. I uh, love you so much. <laughs> have a beautiful week. You're breaking the ties. You're having that inner wisdom. You're letting go of control. Let me know if these messages resonate. If you have a question or comment, please, you know, let me know below. And hey, please remember, healing begins where the ego ends. Take care.